for round one of the head, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into a magic ring. So here is our first single crochet stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to pull it close. I'm going to go ahead and put in my stitch marker. For round two, we're going to do an increase in each stitch around. So that's two in each stitch. So you'll have 12 stitches at the end. So let's go ahead and do our first stitch. That's one. And here's our second one. And then continue to do two in each stitch around. And if we count our stitches at the end, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 stitches. For round 3, our pattern is going to be 2 single crochet stitch, 1 single crochet stitch around. So it's going to be 2, 1, 2, 1 all the way around and you'll have 18 stitches at the end. So here's 1 and 2 and just one here and we're going to repeat the pattern and if we count our stitches at the end we'll have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen for round four, our pattern is going to be two single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. So two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. So let's go ahead and work up our stitches. That's one and two, and just one and one. Okay, and repeat around. And if we get to the end and count our stitches, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. For rounds 5 through 7, we're not going to increase, but we're going to stay at 24 stitches. So that means we're just going to do one crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So let's go ahead and work up our rounds 5 through 7 and I'll meet you at the end of um, your rounds. Okay, I've finished my rounds and if I count, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rounds. For round 8, we are going to decrease to 18 stitches. So our pattern is going to be a decrease here single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's a decrease and then a single crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch. We're going to repeat that pattern, decrease and a single crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch. Round nine, we're going to decrease to 12 single crochet stitches. So our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet stitch, decrease, single crochet stitch, all the way around. Okay, and if we count at the end of this round, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, and 12 single crochet stitches. For round 10, our last round, we are going to decrease to 8 single crochet stitches. So the pattern is going to be decrease, single crochet stitch, decrease, single crochet stitch all around. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's a decrease and then a single crochet stitch. Here's a decrease, single crochet stitch. Okay, and this is our head completed. For our ear, for our first round, we are going to do four single crochet stitch. 
into magic green. So that's one, two, three, and four. I'm going to close it. Let's go ahead and put in our stitch marker. For round two, the pattern is going to be two, one, two, one. So that's going to be two single crochet stitch here. One and two. And then just one in our next one. It's going to be two. And then one in our very last stitch here. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one. So you'll have eight single crochet stitches at the end. So let's go in our next stitch. You're going to do two. And then you're going to do just one. And then one. Next stitch you're going to do two. And then you're going to do one. And in our very last stitch, you're just, oops, you're just going to do one. Finally, for our fourth and last round, we are just going to do the pattern of two, one, two, one around. But at the end, this time, you're going to have 12 stitches at the end. So let's go ahead and do our pattern. That's two and one, two, and one. Okay, and you're going to go ahead and cut off a long tail. And here's your first year completed and you want to make two. Okay, now we're ready to make our snout. For our first round, what we're going to do is we're going to chain five. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to do a single crochet stitch across each chain across. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now we want to make this into a round, so we're going to go to the other side of our chain. And we're also going to do one single crochet stitch across each chain on the other side. So if we do that, that's going to be one, two, and three, and four. So we just did our first round and it should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochet stitches around. Now we're ready to work on our second round. For our second round, we are going to do an increase in our very first stitch right here. So we're going to go ahead and do an increase here. We're going to do two, one, two, and then our next one, we're going to do two single crochet stitches too. For our next two, we're just going to do one. So that's one and one. Okay, and then we're going to increase in our next two stitches. So we're going to do an increase here. That's one and two. We're going to do another increase here. That's one, two. And in our next two stitches, we're just going to do one. So one and one. And our second round is complete. And we should have 12 single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For round three, we're just going to remain at 12 single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So let's go ahead and work up our stitches. This is how your snout should look like. Okay, for our leg, we are going to do four single crochet stitch into a magic ring. So that's going to be one, two, 
three and four. Okay, and our second round, we're gonna do two single crochet stitch in each stitch. So you're gonna have eight single crochet stitch at the end. So that's two here, three, and in the same stitch, four. Okay, and for rounds three to five, we're just going to stay at eight single crochet stitch. So that's just one in each stitch around. It's gonna be one, two, three. And here's our first leg completed. You wanna make three more so that you have four legs in total. Okay, for the tail, for our first round, we're going to do four single crochet stitch into a magic ring. Okay, and then we are going to stay at Four single crochet stitch and you are going to go up to round eight so we're gonna keep staying at four single crochet the stitch. body you can continue with this brown or harvest color yarn if you want but right now I actually want to have a little bit of a contrast so I'm just gonna work it with the Aran yarn and you're gonna wanna do six single crochet stitch into a magic ring. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and close up your circle. I'm going to put my stitch marker here. We're gonna increase in each stitch around and you're gonna have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So we're going to do two in each one. One, two, round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, all the way around. So that's two here, just one here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do two, one, and we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. For round four, our pattern is going to be two single crochet stitch and in our next eight stitches, it's going to be one in each stitch. So here's our pattern. We're going to have two single crochet stitches and then one in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now we're going to repeat our pattern. It's going to be rounds five through seven. We are just going to stay at 20 single crochet stitches. So it's just one stitch all the way around. So work up your rounds and I will meet you when you're finished. Okay, now for our next four rounds, we're still going to stay at 20 single crochet stitches, but now I'm just going to switch colors. So what I'm going to do is a color change. Just make a loop with the new yarn and then you're just gonna pull through to finish your single crochet stitch. And then we're gonna go ahead and okay so go ahead and with this new yarn color we are going to do four more rounds at 20 single crochet stitch. Yeah, I'll meet you when you're finished. So after you finish your four rounds in your other color, it should look a bit like this. Kind of reminds me a bit of a pill because it's about halfway. So for our next round, we want to decrease from 20 to 18 single crochet stitches. So our pattern is going to be a decrease here. And in our next eight, we're gonna just do one single crochet stitch, so. Here's a decrease, and then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and we're, we're going to repeat that one more time, do a decrease, and then our next eight, we're just going to do single crochet stitches. In our next round, we want to decrease to 12 single crochet stitch. So our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet. 
and all the way around. So here's a decrease, single crochet stitch. Decrease, then a single crochet stitch. Okay, now at this point, before we do our last round, we can go ahead and start stuffing the body. For our very last round, we're just going to do a decrease all around. So we're going to have six single crochet stitches at the end. So go ahead and do your decreases. It's going to be one. That's two. Most. Okay, finish stuffing. So this is how your body should look like completed. So now we're ready to brush out the head of our amigurumi. So we're just going to get our pet slicker. And the thing with um, brush crochet is you have to um, brush it very vigorously. So here's my finished head. Now I want to get the snout. When you're brushing out, you can put on your snout here, sew it around with your yarn needle, and then brush it out. Or some people prefer to just brush it out first and then sew it on. So I'm going to go ahead and sew on the snout. So what I need to do is put a little bit of fiber in the snap so not too much. Okay, and where I'm going to sew this on is it's going to be three rounds from the bottom. One, two, three. I want to do it right here. ready to brush out the body. Okay. Now we're ready to sew on our head.
And here's our finished brushed amigurumi. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share your projects with me on Instagram, Facebook. You can find all my patterns on my website. I'll catch you next video.